What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I want to show you guys something that I built earlier today. It is based off these little blocks that I had as a kid. This is called the Triple Zooka, or the Triple Rocket, however you guys want to call it. It's been a while. Also, I just wanted to say Happy New Year's to all of you guys. Thank you for making my life super great. Also, if you guys want to, go check out the Big Wheel video that I did. It's short. It's just a short little thing that I'm going to be showing you in the future. So let me get, let me break this down for you guys on how this thing was built. This thing was built by little bricks that I had as a kid. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to show you guys what pieces I used to make the entire gun itself. Sorry, YouTube, if this is like a bad word or anything. The gun. Anyway, this is what I used. This is um, these standard blocks that you, you can't really buy anymore. So, yeah. So, let me just show you how it's based off. So, let me just, uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes so I can take this apart and I'll show you guys. Alright, and I'm back. So, basically, this consists of three 1x3 three blacks or whatever color you want to use. Um, two one by two um blues. I'm just using these because these are the only two colors I have. And then it requires one one by uh, four black. I use mostly black because it kind of matches a little bit. So yeah. So let me show you how to rebuild. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a one by two. And you're gonna take a one by one black. Place it like that so that it has this. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take another one by one black and you're gonna place it like that so it looks like a some type of like shortened T of some kind so what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna take um a one by two blue whatever color you want to use you're going to put that together like that and you're gonna take the other one by um one black and you're gonna put it on there so it looks like this and then this right here is what we have the last piece which is a one by a one by four uh, black. You put like it on the back so that it turns into. Only had steers. I did not like that. Sorry guys, that bothered me. me. All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. I was just talking to my parents about something. Um, so yeah, that is the first component of the triple zuka, the triple rocket, whatever you guys want to call it. So the next one is just a simple but more handheld version. There's a couple of pieces here that you're gonna need. So first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a um let me just uh take it apart for you guys. I'm not gonna take apart this. This is a just the magazine that will go on the modified version that I modded this for. It's not really a mod, it doesn't really shoot anything, but it just makes it look cooler, and this is the mod piece that I used. So yeah, right here, these are all basically all the pieces you're gonna need. You're gonna need two one by threes blue of course uh three one by threes or one by two, one by ones one one by five for the handle slash magazine um and then one one by four so basically what you're going to do here is you're going to take a one by three and you're going to take a one by one place it on there basically making this but a little bit bigger so it looks a little bit color you're just going to take that one by one, one by three there, and then you're gonna place it like this. Then you're gonna place this one right here. So then you're gonna have this right here. Then you're gonna take the one by five here, and then you're gonna go like this. You're gonna take the one by three you have, and you're gonna take a one by four, and you're gonna place this right there. You're going to place it like this, so then it looks like uh, some type of a pistol here. Right here. You're going to take this, you're going to place it right there, so then it has like a Star Wars look to it. You're going to place this, so then it has more of like a um, hammer shot feel, if you guys know what that nerf gun is. So you're going to take the extended magazine, you want it to place it on there, and this is basically how, this is basically how it got so long in the process. So yeah. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to put this aside. I'm going to show you the last weapon, but I'm not going to take it apart. Basically, this gun, I, I actually, this is actually pretty simple. Basically, what you're going to need is you're going to need, 
you're gonna need to make two more of these but then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take this front the one by two and then the one by two black you're gonna flip it over for one part and then you're gonna take this off and put it as the stock there then you're going to basically just do that over again but then you're gonna take the front barrel right here and then you're gonna put it on the front and then you're gonna take a one by you're gonna take a one by three here and you're gonna place it there as like a foregrip and then basically just do that so then yeah that is basically that so now i'm gonna put all three of the items together to show you guys what this actually looks like as a finished product so first thing you're gonna need is one thing i usually do is i usually cut down the magazine a little bit because i don't want it to like wobble or anything so when it breaks so then when it actually like kind of thing so this is basically the mod then you would just take the modified clip here you would lock it on like so and you can just have this like so so it would look like this but you're like wait where's the top piece because this thing is super wobbly as you can tell so what you're gonna do here is you're going to take a one you're gonna take your first pistol that you made you're going to connect it like so onto the back end of both guns here ah. and this is how you make the triple triple zooka it is basically consists of my version of a p90 with an extended mag a ak of some kind and then some type of taser or pistol usually i wouldn't go like this i would go like this this front piece I just flip it over to have the scope right there so that it would line up sort of line up with the other one you can come over here you would look through this here you guys go if you guys want to you guys can see through that and then if you guys want to here's the other version here's the other side there you go so um my opinion on this gun if this was in uh Nerf means Call of Duty, well, just Call of Duty Zombies. This would probably be one of the better guns you wanted to pick up. Because this thing is very reliable. This thing, if you were to actually think this, this thing would probably, since it's like an AK and then like a P90 slash rocket launcher and then just like a scoped pistol, this thing would have the um, internals of a AR. And then you would just have the rocket. So then it would just... So it would infinite, it would like shoot like 20 rounds of rockets, like full auto. And then you would have just in case, just in case you gotta pull, just in case you gotta, you gotta, um, you run out and then you're like, oh no, my, I have to reload my AR. So you're trying to reload it, but like, what am I supposed to do while I reload? You grab the hand pistol that is connected, that it connects both of these guns together so it's not as wobbly. You just so yeah, um, thank you all for watching. This is something that I'm probably going to teach you guys how to build in the future. I just taught you how to build the, um, the components to do it. But if you guys want to, you guys can follow along. And if you guys follow along, please, um, if you guys follow it and it looks something like this, make sure to hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. So, uh, also one more thing. Before you do, before you leave this video, um, the two hour special that we're going to be doing is going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks because I had some, uh, plans delayed for another video, specifically this video, and then another video, which I was going to do a Christmas haul, but I never got to do that. But I will definitely do that in the future. So, um,. I want to say, uh, Happy New Year to you guys. Thank you for, um, thank you for hitting, um, thank you for me hitting, um, like, it's like four or five subscribers. I wasn't planning on getting, like, ten, one thousand subscribers. I just wanted you guys to see the content. Thank you for checking out the most viewed videos on my channel. Thank you for helping me get to where I wanted to be. So if this video doesn't really get that many views, it's probably because it's something that I not don't really do that often. But yeah, um, this is the finished product. It is pretty cool. It's called the 
This is called the Triple Zooka. It shoots, um, well, it doesn't shoot anything because it's just a block. But if it was, it would shoot a full auto. It would shoot 20. I think it would shoot, like, five rockets full auto. And then it would just have, like, an extra pistol at the top that you can just, like, shoot, um, shoot people with. So, yeah, that, this is, this video doesn't really, I just wanted to do this for fun because I saw some other people do this. I want to give a big shout out to a couple of the YouTubers actually, um, helped me do this channel specifically. Aaron Esser for sure. Make sure to go subscribe to him because he was the actual inspiration when I first saw his first gun game. I'm like, I gotta do a gun game, but I didn't really have any guns at the time. So, yeah, um... Yeah, um, I want to give a big shout out to, um, PDK Films, Scoop772, and, um, yeah, so I just want to give a big shout out to them, and also Lord Draconical, because he is the inspiration who I'm going to be doing a mod on doing the Nerf Rival, uh, pistol, like a small pistol, the one that Lord Draconical did with the Mega, um, Mega Big Shot, I have a Big Shot, I'm going to be doing a video on that. I'll show you guys what I did. So yeah, that is it. That is all. Make sure to hit that like button. Um, if you guys want to, you guys can hit the subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell because you'll get notified when a new video comes out. Peace.